I'm so happy that you are here because today is going to be a great class. First of all, remember that this class is being recorded. So if you don't want to appear, you can close your camera and the class is going to start now. So please also um, mute your microphones so you can hear me. Okay, let's start. So today I'm going to teach you a very useful phrase. Well, question. We use this question every day. So let me share the screen and we can start. Okay. Here we go. Everyone can see it, right? Okay, perfect. So the question, the today's question. ¿Me puede ayudar? ¿Me puede ayudar? Let's see, Caprine, what do you think this question means? Um, your microphone, your, your end. Okay, um, can I help? Yeah, es, can I help? You. So, no, can I or can you help me? Can you help? because I'm using the word me. So when mm -hmm. I use this word, me, mm -hmm. um, I'm talking about myself, that I need the help. So, so I, can you I, help me? Me I, puedes ayudar? And maybe you can say, por favor. Me puede ayudar, por favor? Can you help me, please? So we can use this question for everything. Um, if we need help in the school, in the world, you know. But today, we are going to see this question in the shopping store. You already know the names of some clothes, um, accessories, and things like that. But today, I want to teach you the colors. Why? Because when we are um, shopping, we are not going to look only for a blusa or un pantalón, not only for the clothes, but also for the color, right? For example, my favorite color, mi color favorito, es el azul, blue. So I want you to know the colors. So first of all, I'm going to repeat all the colors and then I'm going to give you a chance, okay? The first one is rojo, rojo, naranja, naranja, amarillo, amarillo, verde, verde, celeste. Celeste is like the sky blue, azul. Like the sky. Azul. Yeah, the difference between celeste and azul is that one is like the sky blue and the another is only blue, like the sea. Okay, so morado, rosa, rosa, café, café, gris, gris, negro, negro, y blanco, blanco. Okay, so let me see. Here we have first, <clears throat> okay, Fito, can you tell me the first, okay, three colors, three colors. Uh, rojo, uh, morado, negro. <laughs> good job, good job, good pronunciation. So tell me, ¿cuál es tu color favorito? ¿Cuál? Es uh, tu color favorito. What's your favorite color? Morado. Really? Good. O, ne o negro. Negro? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sí, sí. <laughs> okay, next, Vivian, can you tell me three colors? ¿Me podrías decir tres colores? And um, your microphone. Rajo. Uh, negro uh, and blanco. Good job. So now tell me, ¿cuál es tu color 
favorito? Say that again. ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? I didn't, well, I didn't understand the last point. What's your favorite color? Oh, my favorite color is um, rosa. Rosa. Good. Your oh, time, peaches. I can see that you are very excited. So now you are going to tell me four colors. Okay. Um, naranja. Naranja. Uh, amarillo. Okay. And verde. Four. You need one more. Oh, um, uh, cafe. Good job. So now tell me, please. ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? Verde. Me puedo adir, adar verde. Okay. Okay, verde. verde. Yeah. And next one, the next one we have, uh, Ole. Can you tell me three colors, please? Verde, celeste, azul. Good job. Now tell me, ¿cuál es tu color favorito? Azul. Azul. Good. The last one, Capri. Mm -hmm. Dime tres colores. Three okay. colors. Amarillo, naranja, and azul. Good job. Buen trabajo. Ahora dime, ¿cuál es tu color favorito? Azul. Good job, yeah. So now, we have the question, ¿me puede ayudar? And we already know the colors. So let's do a completely phrase. ¿Me puede ayudar? Estoy buscando. Okay, wait me a moment. Okay. Estoy buscando unos zapatos color negro. ¿Me puede ayudar? Estoy buscando unos zapatos color negro. Who wants to tell me the meaning? Okay. If you want, you can raise your hand so I can see. Me puedo ayudar. Who? Okay, I have Pito. Okay, tell me. Um, I'm not sure, but is it, uh, can you help me find something? I don't know what zapatos is, but in black. Yeah, zapatos is shoes. Oh, okay. So the phrase estoy buscando is I am looking for. Okay. I am looking for, okay? So you are in, in a clothing store um, and then you're looking for a black shoes. So you can say, ¿Me puede ayudar? Estoy buscando unos zapatos color negro. Good. So the next one is, Estoy buscando unas botas amarillas. Who wants to repeat? Let's give the chance to Laurel. Are you with us? ¿Estás con nosotros? Estoy buscando unas botas amarillas. Amarillas. Yo, buen trabajo, buena pronunciación. Now tell me the meaning. I'm looking for something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Amarillas. And amarillas okay. is color. Yeah. Um, who wants to tell Laurel the meaning of bota? Boots. Yeah. Normal, you use that when it's raining. You know? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for uh, some yellow boots. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Okay. Let's continue. The next one. Estoy buscando un cinturón café. Ole. Can you repeat that, please? Estoy buscando un cinturón café. 
Good job. Buen trabajo. Ahora dime el significado. Now tell me the meaning. I am looking Centron, I don't know what it is, but something in brown. <laughs> okay, you need to see the other class in YouTube, you know. <laughs> and Cinturon is belt. Oh, belt. Yeah. So, ¿me puede ayudar, por favor? Estoy buscando un cinturón café. The next mm. one, the last one, actually. Um, let's see here. Vivian, can you say the last phrase, please? Una blusa morada. Una blusa morada. Yeah. Una blusa morada. Morada. Yeah. Morada. Morada. Okay. So you can say, estoy buscando una blusa morada. Can you tell me the meaning, please? Estoy buscando una blusa morada. Uh, I'm just guessing. I would say yellow. Huh? Yellow? No. Okay. Okay, don't worry. And it looks like pictures have the answer. So I'm going to ask her. Tell me the meaning, please. It's, uh, I'm looking for a purple blouse. Yeah, uh -huh. good oh. job. You deserve a star. Yeah, good job. Good job. Very good. Okay. So now you know the question. Me puede ayudar? And if you are looking for something um, very specific, you can say the clothes and also the color and maybe the size. You remember last class we learned the size. Como talla. So, talla M, talla L. So, for example, I'm going to tell you a phrase and I want you to tell me then the translation. ¿Me puede ayudar? Estoy buscando una blusa talla M color rosado. I'm sure you know the answer. I'm sure. I trust you. So, who wants to tell me? Okay, I have, <laughs> I have the feeling. Uh, let's go with Peter. Don't hate me, Ole. <laughs> and you ask, uh, can you help me? I am looking for, uh, oh, and no, I forgot the clothes piece, uh, but it was medium yeah. and color. I just forgot now. Blusa rosada. Yes, pink. Yeah, good job. <laughs> okay, so let's give a chance to Ole now. I'm going to tell you something and you're going to tell me the meaning, okay? ¿Me puede ayudar, por favor? Estoy buscando un cinturón negro talla grande. Bueno, talla L. May you please help me? I'm looking for a belt in car in in black. And how about the size? Tiny I think it was small. It was small. No, large. Large. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good job, guys. So now you already know the colors, and guess what? The class is over. <laughs>